Track. We had a fabulous meeting here last year as a build up to the big senior burn up uh, tomorrow afternoon and we're obviously looking for a peak this afternoon. The weather's with us, the track looks in good nick, everybody's had a good practice so we're looking forward to a cracking afternoon's racing. Our sponsors of this afternoon's meeting are Foreman's Decorating Service and Brewers for Decorating Materials. We thank them very much indeed for their sponsorship of this afternoon's meeting. And uh, I think there is a goodie bag for all the youngsters, which will be handed round as we go down the list. I think Chris has done a good job in getting everybody in the racing order. So we will go down the, um, the riders. So cheer for your particular favourite. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's have no shyness. Uh, there's not too many of us here, but uh, let's have everybody cheering then. So we start off with the Auto Cadets. First in line, rider number six, Danny Hill. Then we've got number three, George Ransley. Number five, Robert Lambert. Number seven, Nathan Greaves. You want a quick will as you carry on? Number eight, Aaron Cawthray. Number nine, local lad, Callum Ray. Good to see Paul Hurry, in fact, handing out the... the uh, Goodie bag, we didn't know Paul was going to be here. We'll have a quick word with Paul at the end of the line. So Paul hurry to give me out the goodie bags. Number 10, Ronnie Kinchin. Son of a famous fart racing father and good to see Vincent behind him today. Number 11, Jordan Carter. 19, come all the way from West Yorkshire, Sam Patchett. 33, will be in the thick of the action this afternoon, Kenny Bowdry. Another rider come a long way, number 81, Max Corns. 
One, one, two. That's uh, Ashton Webb. I think we move on there then to the cadets and riding number seven, Martin Neen. One oh nine, Zach Whitnet. Eighty two, Callum Walker. There you go then, birthday boy number 82, Callum Walker. Number two for my neck of the woods, Ellis Perks. 93, James Shanes. Number 97, Jacob Taylor. Another northern visitor, number 100, Max Clegg. <laughs> number one, Thomas Wallace. 117, Natalie Willis. <laughs> I can't keep up with that they are your eight year old, that's uh, number 117, Natalie Willis. Number 11, Connor Locke. 81, Jack Corms. Number 10, Tommy Lawrence. 77, Owen Woodley. 21, in addition to the programme, Sam Radley Smith. That's riding number 21. Well, to the, uh, on we go then to the junior competitors and first in line for the juniors, number 50, Brendan Warville. Number one, Sean Falliatas. One, 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 Adam Portwood. 47, Scott Goodwin. Number seven, Billy Milton. 13, sure to be in the thick of the action this afternoon, Nathan Stoneman. Number three, Joshua Goodwin. Number eight, the reserve coming into race in the meeting, Northern Visitor, Bradley Stanton. Bradley, come along way with the please and please please what problem you get to this afternoon. How did practice go? You went well here, let's just show some of the people up this afternoon. There you go, number eight, Bradley Stanton. Next to him is number 17, Lawrence Barber. Number six, Tyler Govia. Number nine, Jack Jones. 18, Darrell Richards. Looking forward to it. There you go, can't wait, says Darrell Richards. Number 71, Josh Dingle. 23, another son of a famous racing father, Lloyd Barrett. Number 15, Danny Stoneman. Number 24. I think we've got them mixed up. Eh? All right, Joe Litchford, he just been put in another edition of the programme, number 24. Joe Litchford, apologies that he wasn't in the programme. And we've got number 10, Craig Drury. 38, Ryan Nass Nassi. Number 8, Stefan Maunder. 51, Chesney King. Number 6, Harry Betheridge. 14, Shane Bovis. We move on to number 17, Tom Perry. Number 18, Daniel Glover. 21, Lewis Lear. Number 28, Amy Taylor. You're looking forward to it. You're going to beat these boys. There you are, very quiet, number 28, Amy Taylor. Next to her, no, next to her number 32, Jamie Fenn-Smith. 181, Matthew Saul. Number 30, Richard Andrews. Number 20, Darren Drew. 
17, Declan Ritchie. Be on the senior B, on the senior B. Anyway, so it's uh, number seven, Oliver Racer. You won't see me be, ain't you? <laughs> Number five, John Rich. Right, everyone, see me be. Get a grip, Carl. Get a grip. Right, you move on then to the senior B. Number twelve, Chris Watts. Fourteen, Stuart Mears. Number seventeen, another Northern visitor, Andrew Whitaker. Andrew, coming to it at the end of what's been a very successful season for you. And looking forward to the junior event this afternoon. Yeah. There you go. Number 17, Andrew Whittaker. 29, first appearance on the senior B. Adam Rathel, use your eyes in the, in the immediate. His first racing on the senior B. Number 36, Aaron Pease. 37. Ben Fenn Smith in the programme is 27. It is number 37, Ben Fenn Smith. Number 54, Ben Isley. 101, Bradley Newlin. 179, Alex Evans. And finally, 214, Michael Wilson. And number 8, ladies boy, that's Jamie Pennell. <laughs> What's happened to Paul? So that completes the lineup then for the 2006 Junior Burnup. An absolutely fabulous lineup once again gathered for this prestigious meeting. It's the build up to the big one tomorrow. The youngsters will give you some tremendous racing. I say let's have some enthusiastic applause in cheering when the youngsters go around. It was a fabulous meeting last year and let's have a repeat here this afternoon. Great to see so many youngsters. It just shows when the, the pulling power of this Collier Street track to bring riders from all over the country to race here this afternoon. So they'll go back to the pits. The racing will start at 12.30. So uh, let's hope we're in for a cracking afternoon's racing. Show your appreciation as they go around on the lap of honour. Please keep to the junior track. We've got to say the big track for tomorrow. And enjoy yourself for your racing. race of the afternoon the auto cadets unfortunately Callum Ray will be a non-starter having felt ill after the uh, presentation so the riders coming out then number 10 Ronnie King's on a little tiny bike Ben's coming out to see that he's okay he's the last one to come into line we should have Max Brown Robert Lambert Nathan Greaves Ronnie Kinchin Sam Patchett and Max Combs are the riders then for race number one everybody's ready on the line Takes for up, away they go, and Nathan Greaves has made a cracking start. Robert Lambert is the rider that goes with him. It's uh, Max Corms in third place. That's the top three as they go in the back straight for the first time. Nathan Greaves already with a good lead, but Robert Lambert trying to close the gap there in second place. It's Max Corms in third, the leading two already starting to pull away at the front. They move into the pits corner on the other lap. Then it's Nathan Greaves with the advantage then from. Uh, Number five, Robert Lambert trying to close the gap there in second place. Greaves leads it, but Lambert in second place. These two clear of riding number 19. That's Sam Patchett gone through into third. Relegated well, 81, Max Corms to fourth place. They're followed by uh, number two, Max Brown. And finally, Ronnie Kinchin in seventh place. So the leader, Nathan Greaves, into that pits corner on lap number two. Three laps, of course, for the auto cadets. And the cadets already lapping the back markers. Is number seven, Nathan Greaves, big lead over Robert Lambert still there in the second place position from Sam Patchett hanging on to third a wide riding Max Corms has got the fourth place Max Brown is in five as we see the leader Nathan Greaves down the back straight for the final time in race number one Nathan Greaves a clear lead then over five Robert Lambert holding that second place position in and out of that to final corner and it's uh, number seven, Nathan Greaves, that picks up the winning ride in race number one. Followed by number five, Robert Lambert in second place. 81, Max Corms is in fourth. Then we should have number two, Max Brown. And number ten, Ronnie Kinchin.
Race number one, first leg of the Auto Cadets, who win for number seven, Nathan Greaves. Second, number five, Robert Lambert. And third, number 19, Sam Patchett. 81. Two. And number 10. The winning time, 1 minute 18.45. 1 minute 18.45. Average speed, 31. 0.29 miles per hour. So the youngs on little bikes certainly not hanging about there in the first race. Average speed 31.29 miles per hour. Race two, number 99, George Simmons is a non-starter. Where we go then, and it's Ashton Webb making a start with the Kenny Bowe to the right of the goes with him. George Ransley has also made a good start. That's leading three upon that top corner, but Ashton Webb leads him going down the back straight for the first time. Kenny Bowdy making a move round the outside, a bite between these two as they go in the back straight on lap number one. It's Webb on the inside, Bowdy, a good line round the outside, leads the, this uh, first lap into that pits corner. Got, takes a wide line, Ashton Webb taking a much tighter line on the inside. They're locked together now as they come out of that first corner, but Bowdy again back round the outside. Bowdy leads it. Webb in second place, it's Ransley in third, with Aaron Cawthray in fourth place, that's the top four, they're followed by number six, Danny Hill, and number 11, Jordan Carter, that's the uh, six one as they go in the back straight once again, Kenny Bowd, you know, starting to pull away there from uh, Ashton Webb, Ashton Webb almost road racing, going down that back straight in an effort to try and get more speed out of the machine, but it's a wide riding, Kenny Bowd, who leads now, can put in lap number two, Bowd leads it then, from Webb in second place, it's still Ransley in third, with Hill in four, that's the top four, good scrap going on for fifth and sixth places, as Kenny Bowdry well clear going to that back straight for the final time in race number two, second leg of the Auto Cadets, he's increased a little the time over Ashton Webb in that second place position, a wide line again taken by Kenny Bowdry on his exit from the pits corner on the final lap, Kenny Bowdry gets the winning ride, Ashton Webb picks up the second place position. It's George Ransley in third, followed by number eight, Aaron Cawthoray in fourth. We look back to that scrap for fifth and sixth places. And the rider making the move right round the outside, but it's going to be number six that gets the fifth place with number 11, the final rider across the line. Race two then, the win for number 33, Kenny Bowdry. Second, 1-1-2, Ashton Webb. And third, number three, George Ransley. Eight. Six. And number 11. One minute, 22.22. One minute, 22.22. Average speed, 29.86 miles per hour. 29.86. for one of the bogus lads whose machine has blown up and somebody's kindly lent him a bike that's why he's out in the track having a couple of laps of late practice obviously got to practice with a change of machinery so that's a little bit of late practice before we move on to race three the first leg of the cadets there's one addition in race three 21 Sam Radley Smith
On the line then for the first leg of the cadets, sat with them, Megan a cracking start, Max Clegg is a rider that goes with him. It's Nathan Greaves in third place, that's a top three, into that top corner for the first time. It's Whitney who leads then going to the back straight from Clegg in second. It's uh, Greaves in third, Alice Perks has got the fourth place position, that's a top four. They're moving the pits corner on the opening lap then, still uh, Whitney with the advantage then. From Clegg trying to come through on the inside. Witness gone wide and Clegg has got through on the inside. Clegg leads it for Witness in second. It's Greaves in third. Perks in four. He's four pulling away from number 82. Callum Walker in the fifth place position. And Ellis Perks has gone really wide on the exit from that top corner. But it's Max Clegg now starting to pull away at the front end from Zach Whitten in second place. Nathan Greaves has got the third with Ellis Perks in fourth place. That's the top four. We're still Callum Walker, number 82, in fifth place. They move on to lap four on the last lap this time then. Clegg is a race leader then, but Whitten in second. Greaves getting closer in third. A good scrap developing four. Second in third place is Nathan Greaves making the move round the edge of Zach Whitten up on that top corner. Whitten holds the line, forcing Greaves right round the outside while these two are scrapping it out for second and third. It's allowing Nathan Greaves to pull, Max Clegg to pull clear at the front. It's Clegg who leads coming out of that final corner. Max Clegg gets a winning ride in race number three. It's going to be tight for second in third. Will Zach Whitman hang on? Yes, he does. From Nathan Greaves in third place. A wide riding. Ellis Perks picks up the fourth place position. Coming through in fifth place, number 82, is Callum Walker. And then we wait for number 117 and rider number 21. Number 10 and number 11, the final two to cross the line. Race 3 result then, a win for number 100, Max Clegg. Second, 109, Zach Whitnett. And third, number 17, Nathan Greaves. Two, 82. 10, 117. Winning time, 1 minute 16.05, 1 minute 16.05, 32.28 miles per hour, 32.28 miles per hour. Second leg of the cadets. Oh, and a bit anxious at the start. And uh, ooh, somebody almost garroted there at the start. Rider number one, Thomas to Wallace. That could be pretty painful there. The elastic tape across in there, but he looks to be okay. Want some whiskey in your water? Sugar in your tea. Drop the window. Let's get to this room. I'll take a little mama. Show, show, show. So resetting then for the restart of race number four, second leg of the cadets. Riders on two minutes for race number four. Two minutes for race number four. The radio is blasting, someone's knocking at the door. I'm looking at my girlfriend, she just passed out on the floor. I've seen Less than a minute. 
So they're going to go around and ride a four race number four, away they go, number 93, James Shane's making a good start, Connor Locke has gone with him, 81, Jack Combs has got the third place, he now moves into second place as James Shane's leads going to the back straight for the first time, it's a Combs in second, we're locking third, that's the top three, they're half in the back straight on the opening lap, James Shane's leads into that pits corner, Combs making a big move around the outside of that pits corner, Shane's holding the inside line, Combs coming right around the outside, but it's Shane's who has the advantage, they complete the over then from Combs in second place, is Connor Locke in third. Thomas Wallace is in fourth place. That's the top four with Jacob Taylor in five. That's the five. As they go in the back straight, once again, it's still Shane's with the advantage. But you can see that Corns is trying to close the gap going down that back straight. These three are two along with clear of Connor Locke, who has got the third place position. Thomas Wallace is in four. Jacob Taylor is still in fifth place. That's the top five as they move on to the last lap this time then. James Shane's leads it from uh, Jack Corns in second place. They're along with clear of Connor Locke in third. With Thomas Wallace in fourth, Jacob Taylor's now lost that fifth place. He drops back to sixth place. It'll be to the leader, James Shane's half in the back straight for the final time as number 77. Owen Woodley goes through into that fifth place position. It's James Shane's who leads coming out of that final corner. Last ditch effort by Jack Corns, but James Shane's gets the winning ride from Jack Corns in second place. It's a little bit spread out now in race number four, the second leg of the cadet class. It's Connor Rock who comes across the line in third. Thomas Wallace is in fourth, uh, followed by Owen Woodley, then Jacob Taylor, and finally rider number seven, Martin Neem. Race four result then, a win for number 93, James Shanes. Second number 81, Jack Corns, and third number 11, Connor Locke. One. 77, 97, and number 7. 1 minute 17.13, 1 minute 17.13, 31 31.83 miles per hour, 31.83 miles per hour. Race 5, number 8 will be Bradley Stenton, not Jordan Meekins. Number 21 is a non-starter. They're quickly away then with this one. It's number 47. Scott Gormley leads going into that top corner. Bradley Stenton has made the best of starts. He's working his way through the field. Gets around the outside and leads going to the back straight for the first time. Looks like Josh Dingle that's gone through in the second place. It's still 47. Scott Gormley holding that third place. Position is Bradley Stenton leads into the pits corner on the opening lap. I think we're back to four laps for the junior racing. As Stenton goes wide and Dingle gets through on the inside. Stenton again trying to get back round the outside. Gormley still holds that third from Brendan Warbill in four Adam Portwood is in five that's the top five as they go in the back straight once again it's Josh Dingle starting to pull away from Bradley Stenz as they go in the back straight once again Goodwin hangs on to that third place but Warbill definitely getting close in, in four Portwood's got the fifth place position as Josh Dingle leads can put in lap number two in from Bradley Stenz in second place it's Scott Goodwin in third but Brendan Warbill in four Adam Portwood is in five a wide one in number 13 is Nathan Stoneman is, is the next rider in the line, followed by number one, Shane Falliotas. That's the uh, seven riders. As a leader, Josh Dingle into that pits corner on lap number three. Then leads it from Bradley Stenton, still there in second place. Dingle leads it. Stenton's got the second. Goodwin still hanging on to that third. But Brendan Warbull definitely getting close in four. Right between these two as they move into the top corner once again. Warbull gets on the inside and move through into third place. He's gone wide. Goodwin tries to cut back to the inside to retake that third place. Bishop and Port was getting very close indeed. Tremendous race for third, fourth and fifth place as Josh Dingle comes to pick up the winning ride. Josh Dingle wins it. Second place goes to Bradley Stenzers. Desperately tight for third, fourth and fifth. And Adam Port was cut through on the inside. But Brendan Warbull gets the next place. Followed by Adam Port. With them we've got Scott Goodwin. And the final two across the line, the first of the junior race, and number 13, that's Nathan Stoneman, and number one, Sean Valiataz. Race five then, first of the juniors, number 71, Josh Dingle was the winner. Second, number eight, Bradley Stenton, and third, number 50, Brendan Warville. One, one, one. 47, 13, and number 1. 1 minute 32.16, 1 minute 32.16, 35.50 miles per hour, 35.50 miles per hour. 
Race six, number eight of the juniors. Race six on the line and away, and it's uh, number three. Joshua Goodwin leads going into that top corner. Somebody making the move around the outside, 23. That's Lloyd Barrett also working his way to the field to go through into that third place position as they go down the back straight then for the first time. Lloyd Barrett now moves through into second place. I think it's Darrell Richards that leads going into that uh, pits corner for the first time. Again, somebody diving through on the inside to move back through into that third place position. It is Darrell Richards who leads it then for Lloyd Barrett in second place. Tyler Gove has gone through the third. Joshua Goodwin is in fourth. Lawrence Barber in five, that's the top five, change of position again, four third in fourth places, as Richards is well clear going down that back straight then, from Barrett holding that second place. These two pulling away from the scrap then on the third in fourth places, still Richards is the race, then they complete lap two from Barrett holding that second place position. Somebody's getting really shut and rather holding the fourth place, he's dropped it there as Joshua Bowen hangs on to that third, Lawrence Barber goes through into four. 59, Danny Drew was in five, that's the top five, and number nine, Jack Jones, in six, bike left on the track there by number six, Tyler, who was the rider of foul there on the exit from that top corner, as it's still number 18, Darrell Richards leads him on to lap four then, from Lloyd Barrett, still holding that second place position. It's Joshua Goodwin in third, for Lawrence Barber in fourth place, that's the top four, with 59, Danny Drew in five, the leader, Richards half in that back straight on lap number four, looks like picking up the winning ride in race number six. Number 18, Darrell Richens gets the winning ride in race number 6. Wide ride being taken there by number 23, Lloyd Barrett. He gets the second place position. It's going to be tight for third and fourth. It's just Mr. Goodwin, number 3, from 17, Lawrence Barber in fourth. Danny Drew comes across the line in five. Jack Jones in six. And number 7, Billy Milton in seventh place. Race 6 result, the win for number 18, Darrell Richens. Second number 23, Lloyd Barrett. And third number 3, Joshua Goodwin. 17. 59. 9. And number 7. 1 minute 37.25. 1 minute 37.25. 33. 0.64 miles per hour. 33.64. They go on to race number seven, first leg of the Inters. Race seven then, first leg of the Inters. Away they go, and number 21, Lewis Lee has made a cracker start. Tom Perry gets on the inside step, and Mourner trying to follow him through his Perry leads on the exit from that top corner. Lewis Lee on his shoulder in second place. Stepping Mourner's got the third place. That's a top three as they've powered in the back straight for the first time. Into that pits corner they go. Tom Perry on the inside. Lewis Lee coming right round the outside. Super action between these two. They're virtually together. They're completely over them. Perry leads it. The Lear in second. Mourner coming under pressure from Michael Bovis. That scrap for third and four, and Bovis has got thrown into Mourner and move through into third place as Perry is still the leader then from Leah in second Bovis in third Maunder is in four it's Betteridge in five that's the top five Leah again making the move round the edge of Tom Perry on the exit from that pits corner and Bovis is closing up with every turn of the wheel look at that second place of Leah as they go on the top turn once again Perry leads it and uh, Leah in second Bovis trying to get thrown into Leah Maunder's got the fourth place and Bovis gets one into Lewis Lear to move through in the second place as Perry is the race leader from Bovis in second Lear in third Maunder is in fourth place and somebody in trouble on the exit from that top corner a wide rod in there Michael Bovis still pushing hard there in second second place is Tom Perry leads him on the last lap then from uh, Bovis in second Lear is in third Maunda is in fourth place we look at that scrap at the front again Michael Bovis closing up on Tom Perry as they go in the back straight for the final time it's Perry on the inside again Bovis will use every inch of track on the outside of that pits corner Perry holds the inside Bovis making the move round the outside but it's Tom Perry who gets it from Michael Bovis in second place Lewis Lear gets the third from Stefan Maunda in fourth the top four Fifth across the line. I think that should be. Just can't read the number of that rider there. And finally, it's number 28, Amy Taylor.
Race 7 result, win for number 17, Tom Perry. Second number 4, Michael Bovis. And third number 21, Lewis Lear. 8, 14, can you improve that number please in the pits if you can? 6 and 28 will give them a the time after this race, they get them out very quickly, it's number 15, that's Danny Stoneman leads going into that top corner for the first time, Stoneman right round the outside as the balance going in the back straight for the first time then. Stoneman leads, will pick out the rest, they come by us to complete the opening lap, but it's clearly Danny Stoneman leads going in to that to Fitz corner on lap number one again, taking that real wide line, coming out of that corner, Stoneman has the advantage, another seven of the race has gone through in the second place. It's John Rest in third, that's the top three with number 20 Darren Drew in fourth place and Danny Stoneman and number seven Oliver Rayson really scrapping that absolutely lot together on the entry to that pits corner on lap number two is Rage on the inside, Stoneman round the outside, super action between these two, Stoneman again back round the outside to take the leaders and move on to lap number three, it's still uh, Rayson holding that second place and Rich in third. Richard Andrews is in fourth place, that's the top four, but look at that scrap run again between the Stoneman and Rayson, tremendous scrap, Stoneman round the outside, Rayson again comes on the inside, they're locked together on the exit from that pits corner, as they move on to four this time, Stoneman just the advantage then from Rayson in second, what a tremendous race between these two, Rayson again trying to get through on the inside of Stoneman, number 30, that's Richard Andrews gone through the third, with Rayson in fourth. Dan Andrew is in five, we look at that scrap at the front, they go in the pits corner for the final time, look at Danny Stoneman has got the me measure of Oliver Rayson this time, Danny Stoneman is who gets the winning ride, from number seven, Oliver Rayson in second place, number 30, Richard Andrews picks up the third place, with five, John Reese in four, followed by number 20, Darren Drew. Go back to race seven, back to race seven, result to win for number 17, Tom Perry. Second number four, Michael Bovis, and third number 21, Lewis Lear. Eight, 14, six, and 28. One minute 30.36, one minute 30.36, average speed 36.21 miles per hour. Race 8, the race you've just seen, a win for number 15, Danny Stoneman. Second, number 7, Oliver Rayson. And third, number 30, Richard Andrews. Five, and number 20. One minute 27.47. One minute 27.47, 37.41 miles per hour. 37.41 miles per hour. Number 26 is a non-starter for race number 9 there. Quickly away, who's got the advantage going into that top corner? Looks like number 10, Craig Drury leads him in to the top corner with Chesney King taking the big hamper around the outside, gets down the edge of Craig Drury and it's King who leads in the back straight the first time. Then Drury in second place. Matthew Saul has gone through into the third place position. Coming out of that pits corner, completing the open lap then, it is Chesney King who leads it from the Craig Drury in second place. Matthew Saul has got the third, number 70, Declan Richards has got fourth place, but he's pulled out with a sick bite, so number 32 goes through, to Jamie Fensmith goes through into fourth place, as Chesney King is a race leader then, going into that to pits corner on lap number two. Completing lap two then, Chesney King is the race leader. From number 18, that's Daniel Glover has gone through in the second place. Matthew Saul is in third, Ben Smith is in four, Drury is in five. That's the top five as King leads into that pitch. Got a big lead then over 18, Daniel Glover in second place. Matthew Saul still got the third. Looks like Craig Drury is going through into fourth place as King leads them on to four then. From Glover in second, it's Saul in third, Drury is in four, Ben Smith in five. That's the top five. As we see Chesney King clear going in that back straight and into the pits corner for the final time in race number nine. An impressive win coming up for rider number 51. Chesney King, he wins race number nine. It's 18, Daniel Glover going to hang on to that second place position. He's followed by uh, 181 Matthew Saw in third. Clay Jury is in fourth and Fen Smith using every inch of track there in fifth and the final rider across the line is rider number 38
Result of race 9, a win for number 51, Chesney King. Second number 18, Daniel Glover. And third, 181, Matthew Saul. 10, 32, 33, 28, 125.55, 125.55, 38.25 miles per hour, 38.25 miles per hour. has gone through the second place, Alan Pease goes wide, as does Andrew Whittaker, Alex Evans gets on the inside, but Andrew Whittaker again back round the outside to retake the leading position, they go in the back straight, and looks if Alex Evans has lost that second place, pushing half down the back straight, but it's clearly Andrew Whittaker leads, coming out of that pit score and for the complete, the opening lap then, Whittaker leads it, from Pease who's got the second, Evans has got the third, Barnell is in four, Bisley is in five, Newland in six, that's the six, they go in the back straight once again, Whittaker start, they pull away the front, still Pease in second, Barnell has gone through on the inch of Evans to move through into that third place position and closing up on the second place rider was Aaron Pease but it's uh, Andrew Whittaker to clearly to complete in lap number two then Aaron Pease in second it's Parnell gone from the third Evans has got the four Isley is in five with Newland in six that's still the six they go in the back straight once again Aaron Pease using every inch of the track and just hanging on to that second place but that's allowed Andrew Whittaker to pull away at the front, the last lap flag out then for number 17, Andrew Whittaker clear then from Aaron Pease in second. It's Jamie Parnell who's got the third place, and Alex Evans in four, Ben Isley in five, Bradley Newell in six. That's still the six, and down the back straight goes your race leader for the final time. That's Andrew Whittaker with a clear lead then from... Uh, Still Aaron Pease holding on to that second place, he's pulling away from Jamie Parnell who's consolidating that third. Impressive won't you right coming up there for number six. Oh, and Aaron Pease has dropped it, he's been in trouble most of the four laps, he's gone to grief on that final corner. That lets Parnell through into second place. Evans picks up the third. Bisley is in four, Newley in five. Aaron Pease remounts to finish in sixth place. Race 10 result to win for number 17, Andrew Whittaker. Second number 8, Jamie Parnell. And third, 179, Alex Evans. 54, 101, and 36. 1 minute 27.95, 1 minute 27.95, 37.20 miles per hour, 37.20 miles per hour. Away we go then with the next race of the Senior B, Chris Watts leads going in to that top corner, Adam Rath I think his first time on the Senior B, makes a move round the outside, he's a leader going in the back straight for the first time, Stuart Mears making a move round the outside as well, but still Chris Watts dives back from the inside to retake that second place position, as Adam Rath has a race that he knows they complete the only lap then, from Chris Watts in second, it's two. Mears has got the third from 37, ben, ben Smith is in four, These, that's a six, they go in the back straight once again then, Ruffles got a big lead, change of position for them on the plate, with Ben Smith definitely getting closer in fourth place, only much between second, third and four, red flags are out, rather than trouble upon that top corner, red flags are out in the interest of safety, race 11 is stopped in the interest of safety, rider number 24, Joe Latchford falling upon that top corner. Start of race number 11. All the other ranks at the start. We've got broken tapes. Two and four has gone through. Looks if Chris Watts with Riley went through with him. So we await the decision from the middle of the track as to what's happening about uh, race 11 restart. Oh, 
Right, they're sorting themselves out. They come back into line then for the second restart of race number 11. Senior B. Chris Watts to move into line then, now we should be able to race 11. A clean break this time, Stuart Lee is making a good start, Alan Ruffell and 2 and 4, Michael Wolves are leading 3 going into that top, Alan Ruffell really shoved wide on the end of that top, Chris dropped back to about 5th place, the leader going to the back straight for the first time, it's Wills to Lee's going down that back straight, Mears trying to close the gap in 2nd place, look at Alan Ruffell making a move on the entry to that pit screen, went in the corner about 4th place, you can welcome out 2nd, all the race leader using every inch of the track and every inch of the big track as well, here comes the grief there as Ruffell Lee's going in that top corner, Watts has got the 2nd, Mears is in third place, they go to the back straight once again, that's where Adam Ruffell will pull away at the front as they go into that to Pitts Corner once again then. You see on the exit from that to Pitts Corner, and it is riding number 29, Adam Ruffell leading them, Chris Watts in second place, Ben Smith gone through in the third, with Stuart Mears now dropping back to fourth place, he's uh, senior B using every inch his junior track here this afternoon, but Adam Ruffell Building himself a good lead, Watts in second, Fensford again trying to close the gap, gets through on the inside, no he doesn't because Watts holds the, gap, holds the line there, Fensford trying to force his way through and drops it on the entry to that pits corner as Ruffle leads it then from a wide riding, Chris Watts in second place, Stuart Mears has now gone through into third, we've got Ben Fensford on the floor, we've got Michael Wilson coasting around, I think we're really going wide, red flags are out, red flags are out. Red flags are out for a very eventful race, number 11. So we await the decision from the middle of the track as to exactly what's happening about race 11. Right, race 11 result will be declared after three laps. Three laps, so there'll be no speed and no time. Race 11 won by number 29, Adam Rathall. Second, number 12, Chris Watts. And third, number 14, Stuart Mears. Fourth, two, one, four. We move on then to race 12, second leg of the Auto Cadets, delete number 9, Callum Ray. And don't forget we're back to three laps for the little bikes and they're quickly on the line and away. And Aston Webb has made a good start and it looks like Connor Lott has gone with him as they go into that top corner for the first time. Aston Webb on the inside, Connor Lott making the move, Kenny Bowdy making the move around the outside, not Connor Lott of course, it's Kenny Bowdy who leads going down that back straight from Aston Webb in second place position. He's still already building a big lead at the front as they go in the pits corner for the first time. Race number 12. Second leg of the auto cadets and uh, Kenny Bowdy going really wide. Aston Webb trying to close the gap there in second place. This Bowdy leads it from Webb in second. Aaron Cawthray is in third with Max Corms in fourth place. That's the top four as they go to the back straight on lap number two. Kenny Bowdy with a big lead for Aston Webb in second. It's Aaron Cawthray in third with the Max Corms in fourth place. In, coming through, you can start the last lap this time then. Rider number 33, Kenny Bowdry, increasing lead with every turn of the wheel. Still Aston Webb holding that second place from uh, Aaron Cawthray in third. Max Corms has got the fourth place position. That's the top four with number six, Danny Hill in five. The leader, Kenny Bowdry, half and in the back straight then for the uh, final time. They're in amongst the uh, back markers then is uh, the race leader number 33, Kenny Bowdy picks up a, another race win. Second place goes to number 1 and 2, Aston Webb, followed by number 8, Aaron Cawthray, then number 81, Max Corns, and then number 6, Danny Hill. Race 12, a win for number, th win for number 33, Kenny Bowdry. Second, number 112, Ashton Webb. And third, number 8, Aaron Cawthorne. 81, 6, and 2. 
Winning time, 1 minute 22.27, 1 minute 22.27, 29.84 miles per hour, 29.84 miles per hour. We move on then to race number 13, second leg of the uh, Auto Cadets, number 99, George Simmons is a non-starter. Away we go then with race number 13 and number 3, George Vance. He's made a cracking start. He's going into that top corner, but it looks like 7 Nathan Greaves has slipped through on the inside. Rance again back round the outside. Greaves trying to come back up the inside. They're locked together going down the back straight in the first time. Greaves finally makes a move through on the inside. Rance Lee holds that second place position. That's the top two going into the pits corner on the opening lap then. Super action by these two on that opening lap, but it's Nathan Greaves who leads their combines to complete lap number one then. In fact, it's Robert Lambert, number five, look, and number three, it's Robert Lambert there in second place with three, George Ransley in third place, so Greaves leads it, but Lambert in second, Ransley is in third, that's the top three as they go, down the back straight once again, Nathan Greaves slowly but surely building himself a lead over Lambert in second place, it's Ransley holding the third place position. Sam Patchett in fourth, in amongst the back markers already then, as Nathan Greaves leads on the last lap then from Robert Lambert in second place. George Rance has got the third, with Sam Patchett trying to close the gap there in fourth place. That's the top four, as the leader half down the back straight on the final lap. That's Nathan Greaves looking to pick up two of the two heat wins in the Auto Cadet class this afternoon. Number 11, Jordan Carter comes across the line in fifth place, as the race winner is going to be number seven, Nathan Greaves. Second is number five, Robert Lambert. It's going to be tight for third and fourth places. We're just number three, George... Bransley ahead of number 19, Sam Patchett in fourth place. <laughs> Race 13 then, resolved to win for number 7, Nathan Greaves. Second number 5, Robert Lambert. And third number 3, George Ransley. 19, 11, Number 10, 1 minute 18.06, 1 minute 18.06, 31.45 miles per hour, 31.45 miles per hour. Race 14, 1 edition, number 21, Sam Radley-Smith. Just waiting the riders to settle in then for race number 14. Ready then for race number 14. And where they go, Ellis Perks makes a good start, but Max Flagg makes a better one, leads going in that top corner. Ellis Perks have got the second place, Nathan Grees gets on into Ellis Perks to move through in the second place. Perks again trying to come back round the outside, super action for second in third place, and that's allowing Max Clegg to pull away at the front from Greaves in second. It's Perks in third, that's the top three as they enter that pitch corner once again. Max Clegg, impressive winner first to mount, leads his second leg of the cadet class now for Nathan Grees in second place. Ellis Perks has got the third place, Sam Radley Smith has gone through into four, with Owen Woodley in five, Martin Neem is in six, that's the top six, as Max Clegg clear going in that back straight once again, from Greaves still there in the second place, Bishop Perks has got the third, it's still Sam Radley Smith in fourth, 
I think a little bit spread out now in the second leg of the cadet class as Max Clegg leads on for last lap then looking to make it 2-2 two two in this class from Greaves in second place, it's Perks in third Bradley Smith is in fourth, that's the top four there, followed by number seven Martin Neem in fifth place and 97 Jacob Taylor in sixth and 117 Natalie Willis is in eighth, that's the uh, runners now in race number 14 as Max Clegg gets the chequered flag for race 14, Max Clegg wins race number 14. Second is Nathan Greaves, third place goes to Ellis Perks. Fourth is going to be number 21, Sam Radley-Smith. Uh, followed by number 7, Martin Neem. 97, Jacob Taylor. And the final rider to come across the line is... 1-1-7. Race 14 resolved to win for number 100, Max Clegg. Second, number 17, Nathan Greaves. And third, number 2, Ellis Perks. 21, 7, 97, and 117. 1 minute 15.52, 1 minute 15.52, 32.51 miles per hour. 32.51 miles per hour. Race 15, second leg of the Auto Cadets. On the line then for race number 15. Away they go, Zach with them, makes a real quick start. And number 81, Jack Corns are on. Let's go with him, Jane Shane. Has made the best of starts. He's already gone through the third place. They're three abreast on the exit from that top corner. And James Shane has gone between two riders. To Lee going down the back straight for the first time. Corns trying to get around the outside. Whitney trying to get back through on the inside. And he much between these three as they go into the Fitz corner for the first time. It's Shane's has gone wide. Corns trying to cut back to retake that leading position. with Shane's leads completely open from Corns in second. Whitney is in third. Con the lock is in four, that's the top four as they go in the back straight once again, it's Shane's on the inside, Corns again trying to come right round the outside, super action between these two, head two abreast going down that back straight with Shane's on the inside, Corns totally committed to the outside, Shane's with a slight advantage, Corns again coming right round the outside, he's really pushed right there by James Shane's, they move on to the last lap this time then, Shane's leading from Corns in second, Whitman is in third, Lock is in four, that's the top four, we look at that scrap at the front and slowly but surely James Shane's is starting to pull away for the front from Max Corms are holding that Jack Corms are holding that second place position Zach Whitney is in third Connor Locke is in fourth and ready to Callum Walker is in five that's the top five Matt Corms again having to go on the inside on the exit from that final corner but James Shane's gets the winning ride Corms gets the second place Zach Whitney is in third next rider should be number 82 birthday boy Callum Walker coming across the line in fifth place and the final two is number one, Thomas Wallace. And number ten, Tommy Lawrence. Race 15 resolved to win for number 93, James Shanes. Second, number 81, Jack Combs. And third, 109, Zach Whitnett. 11, 82, 1, and number 10. Move on then to race 16, number 8 will be Bradley Stenton, Bradley Stenton will be number 8, Sam Radley-Smith is a non-starter for race 16. Clean break then, and it's Bradley Stenton, the second right away, as it's uh, Lloyd Barrelees going into that top corner, Lawrence Barber, they're three are best on the exit from that top corner, Barrett Leeds have been stent in second, Barber is in third, Warville is in four, that's the top four to go, then the back straight once again, Lloyd Barron is the race leader from Bradley Stenton in second place, they go in the pits corner for the first time, back to four laps of course, for junior action, Lloyd Barrett's gone wide, Bradley Stenton trying to get through on the inside, Stenton gets through on the inside, from Barrett in second, it's Barber in third, Joshua Goodwin, the old seat, fourth place position, that's the top four as they go in the back straight once again, Bradley Stenton leads it then from Roy Barrett in second place. They enter that pits corner once again, look at that scrap went on for fourth, fifth and the sixth places, but still Bradley Stenton leads, can put in lap number two for Lloyd Barrett in second place. Lawrence Barber's gone through the third, but Brenda Warble in fourth and Portwood is in five. Joshua Goodwin is in sixth, that's the top six, they go in the back straight once again, again they bunch up for... 
four, fifth and six places. Bradley Stenton starting to pull well, clear the front from Lloyd Barrett still hanging on to that second place. Lawrence Barber trying to close the gap there in third. As Stenton is the race leader on the fourth for the wide road and Barrett hanging on to that second. Barber trying to get through on the inside, does get through on the inside, but Barrett again back round the outside to retake that second place. Barber's in third, Warble in four. That's the top, the port one in five, that's the top five, but nothing much between second, third, fourth and fifth to go. Down the back straight for the final time, the race leader Bradley Stanton, well clear the front, but it's anybody's race for the minor places. Bradley Stanton picks up the winning ride, Barrett's gone wide again, and Barber comes through on the inside. Barrett comes late, but Barber gets a second, but Barrett in third, Warble in four, Portwood is in five. Good one in six, super action there in race number 16. Race 16 result, the winter number 8, Bradley Stenton. Second number 17, Lawrence Barber. And third number 23, Lloyd Barrett. 50, 111, 3, number 7. 1 minute 34.46, 34.64 miles per hour. We'll go away with race number 18. Darrell Richard Lee's going in that top corner for the first time. Looks like Josh Dingle making the move to go through into second place. As Richard's the leader going the back straight the first time. Ben Dingle in second place. Please, that's the leading two. So they move into that pits corner on the uh, opening lap then. Richins for the advantage and from Dingle in second. These two pulling away for the remainder of the field. Richins gone wide, Dingle trying to squeeze through on the inside. Dingle does get through on the inside. Richins trying to get back round the outside. It's 47. Scott Goodwin's got the third place. And six Tyler Govia is in fourth place. That's a top four as they go in the back straight once again. Dingle now with the advantage and from Richins in second. It's Goodwin in third. Govia is in fourth. That's the top four as they complete lap two then. It's Josh Dingle still with the advantage then from Dal Richins holding that second place position. Scott Goodwin is in third from number six. Tyler Govia is in four. Thirteen, Nathan Stoneman is in five, followed by number one, Shane Palliatas in six. That's the top six as leader Josh Dingle into that pits corner on lap number three then. Pulling away from number 18, Dal Richins still holding that second place. Dingle leads it then from Richins in second. It's Goodwin consolidating that third place. It's tight for fourth and fifth for just uh, Tyler Govia ahead of the number 13. That's Nathan Stone. Nathan Stone gets on into Tyler Govia to move through into fourth place as Josh Dingle leads him into the pits corner for the final time in race number 17. Josh Dingle picks up the winning ride in that one from number 18. Dale Richens in second place. Scott Goodwin gets the third. It's going to be tight for fourth, fifth and sixth places. Uh, number six just gets it from 13, followed by number one, 59, Danny Drew, and finally number uh, nine, Jack Jones. Race 17 result, the win for number 71, Josh Dingle. Second number 18, Dale Richens, and third number 47, Scott Goodwin. 13. Six, one, fifty-nine, and number nine. One minute thirty-two point four eight. One minute thirty-two point four eight. Thirty-five point three eight miles per hour. Thirty-five point three eight miles per hour. Rider number six was docked one place in that race. Rider number six docked one place in that race. Race 18, Jack Pope is a non-start of a race number 18. Senior B, second leg, and it's number four, Michael Bovis making the cracking start. Tom Perry trying to get through on the inside. All the races got the second place, but it's number four, Michael Bovis making the move around the outside to retake that second place position. As Tom Perry leads in the back straight and the opening lap then from the Bovis in second place. Rachel has got the third. That's the top three as they come to complete the opening lap then. And Tom Perry using every inch of track, just stopping on the track there. And that's lane number four, Michael Bovis to go through on the inside. Race has gone for the second place, so Barry has dropped back two places. He, went, he was at one time in first place, he's back in third now. And it's still Bovis clear, going back straight for the race in second. Barry trying to close the gap in third. 
Well, that's allowing uh, number four, Michael Bovis, to build a lead at the front now as he completes lap number two from uh, Oliver Racing to hold that second. Tom Perry has got the third. Richard Andrews is in four. That's the top four with uh, Amy Taylor in five and 38, Robert Nessie in sixth place. They go in the back straight once again then. It is still Michael Bovis, the race leader then. Clear coming through on to lap number four for racing in second place. It's Perry in third, Andrews in fourth. That's the top fours. They go in the back straight once again then. It's still number four, Michael Bovis, increasing lead over Oliver Race in second place. He's still pulling well clear of Tom Perry in third with Richard Andrews in fourth place. So in for number four, Michael Bovis. Second is number seven, Oliver Rayson. Third place goes to Tom Perry. Fourth is number 30. Oh. Amy Taylor, the next rider across the line. And finally, it's rider number 38. Race 18, a win for number four, Michael Bovis. Second, number seven, Oliver Rayson. And third, number 17, Tom Perry. 30, 28, and 38. 1 minute 27.81, 1 minute 27.81. The average speed, 37.26, 37.26. Just to reiterate in race 17, rider number six was docked one place. We're going into race number 19. No heat of the uh, away we go then uh, and it's uh, number 15 Danny Stone release going into that top corner for the first time 21 Lewis Liam making the move through in the second place and looks like Chesney King who has made the best of start starting to work his way for through to go through in the third place as it is Stoneman leads into that pits corner for the first time. He's down this uh, great jewelry in fact the front of his number 15. Danny Stoneman leads from Lewis Lear in second. Chesney King closes the gap in third place. Harry Bedford is in four. That's the top four. As they go in the back straight once again. Stoneman still with the advantage then from Lear in second place. Chesney King closes the gap with every turn the wheel looking at second place. Megan the move through on the inch of Lear as they go into that pits corner once again. Stoneman still with the advantage then from Lear in second place. It's King closes the gap in third. Bedford has still got the four, with Fensmith in five, that's a top five as they go in the back straight once again, Stoneman, that wide line proving to be a very quick line for Danny Stoneman, still here, hanging on to that second place, with King going to be content with third at the moment, these three clear of Bedford in four, with Fensmith in five, the two of Preston, second and third coming out of that uh, mid corner and on to four and Stoneman still the advantage then. From Lear in second, it's King in third. Bedford is in four, Fensford in five, that's the top five. With number five, John Rees in six. And number 20, Darren Drew in seventh place. And Chesney King finally gets on into Lewis Lear to move through into second place on that final corner. As Danny Stoneman gets the one in line, Chesney King picks up the second place. Lewis Lear comes across the line in third. Fourth place goes to number six, followed by number 32. Then five, and finally number 20. Race 19 resolved to win for number 15, Danny Stoneman. Second, number 51, Chesney King. And third, number 21, Lewis Lear. Six, 32, five, and number 20. 1 minute 27.24, 1 minute 27.24, 37.51 miles per hour, 37.51 miles per hour. Race 20, number 9, is a non-starter. Where they go then with race number 20, Matthew Storm making a good start, leads into that top first step and Mourner in second place, looks like Daniel Glover that leads going to, down the back straight the first time, but Mourner making the move, round the edge of Glover's lead, up and down that back straight and lap number one, Matthew Storm also trying to get round the edge of Glover, but Glover dives back to on the inside to retake that second place position, as the wide rod in step and Mourner leads completely up the lap for Matthew Storm in second, this Glover in third place, Dewey is in fourth. 14, Shane Bovis in five, that's a five, tremendous crop at the front, and Stephen Maughan has gone really wide again, and Matthew Saul on his tail now in second place, they're moving that pits corner once again, 
Can Morna hold a much tighter line? Yes, he does, but Saw's rolled an even tighter line, and they're brought to together now as they complete two. The four of the leaders, and Saw in second. Glover in third, Drew and Kisk in four. Bovis in five, that's the five as they go down the back straight once again. It's still Stephen Morner with Matthew Saw trying to close the gap, and Glover's slowing up, holding that third place position. Jewelry definitely getting closer in four, making the move to try and get that third place position as Morner leads them on to four then. From Saul in second, it's Jury now gone through in the third, relegating Glover to four. With Bovis in five, that's still the stop five in race number 20. Down the back straight goes your race leader, Stephen Morner, starting to build a good lead over Matthew Saul in second. Jury still got the third, but Glover in four. Bovis in five, so Stephen Morner picks up the winning ride in race number 20. Second is Matthew Saul. Third place goes to Craig Jury. Fourth is Daniel Glover. Fifth place goes to Shane Bovis. Race 20 result, a win for number 8, Stefan Maunder. Second, 181, Matthew Saul. And third, number 10, Craig Drury. 18 and 14. Winning time, 1 minute 30.53, 1 minute 30.53. 36.14 miles per hour. 36.14. Race 21 then, second leg of the Senior B. Hey, from everybody gets away. This number 14, Stuart B is making a good start. Michael Wilson is the rider that's gone with Adam Rutherford's completely missed the start. He's really wide upon that top point. He's picked up four plates. They've got the exit from that corner to go through into third place. Aaron P is the race leader on the back straight for the first time. Funnel in second with Rutherford in third. That's the top three coming out of that pitch corner. And through to complete the opening up. And Pete is trying to get through on the Parnell trying to get through on the inter of Pease, as Pease leads it from Parnell in second, Rufflin in third, Mears in fourth place, going down the back straight once again, still Parnell with the advantage, and from Pease in second, Rufflin in third, Mears is in fourth, Newlin goes through into five, we lost to ride upon that top corner of the track, and Adam Rufflin making the move right round the edge of Aaron Pease to try and take that second place position, and Jamie Parnell is a race leader from Pease in second, it's Rufflin in third. Mears in fourth, Newland is in five, that's the five as they go down the back straight once again, still Parnell with the advantage from Pease in second, Ruffle can't close the gap in third, having said they starting to peg but the Grand Aaron Pease and dies from the inter Aaron Pease on the end, through to that bit, going to move through into second place, as Jamie Parnell leads them on the four then, the Ruffle gone through the second, it's Pease in third, Mears in four, Newland in five, that's the five going a little bit spread out now in race number 21, as the leader, Jamie Parnell, down the back straight, for the more time, cleared up Adam Ruffle in second, Aaron Pease in third, Stuart Mears definitely getting close in four, looking at third place of Aaron Pease, he moved through on the inside to get the third place, Bishop. Jamie Parnell gets the winning ride, Adam Ruffle in second, it's going to be tied for third and fourth, it's uh, Stuart Mears on for the third, Aaron Pease in four, it's number 101, Bradley Newland in fifth place. Race 21 result to win for number 8, Jamie Parnell. Second number 29, Adam Raffle. And third number 14, Stuart Mears. 36 and 101. 1 minute 28.58. 1 minute 28.58. 36.94 miles per hour. 36.94 miles per hour. And we go into race number 22, start of the Senior B. Away they go, and Adam Wicks can make a crack. He's start Ben Fence, but the right going. Chris Watts has got the third, Alex Evans in four. Ben Isley's in five. That's the five as they go to the back straight for the first time. Whitaker already the big lead. Fence, but locks it right up in front of the riders in second and third place. But still hangs on to his second place position. Is Whitaker leads it from Fence, in second. Watts in third. Evans is in four. That's the top four then. Whitaker leads it from Fenton in second. Watts in third. Evans in four. Isley is in five. Joe Latsford is in six. That's the six. They go in the back straight once again. Time for Andrew Whitaker to look over his shoulder. He's building that lead over number 37, Ben Fensmith, for holding on that second place. 
That's the uh, top two then, with still a race leader from Ben Smith in second place. Watts has got the third place. Watts has got the third place, and Andrew Whittaker's got bike problems there. Andrew Whittaker can't believe it, the race sewn up at the front, he's got bike problems in that second leg, and that's now clear now for Ben Fensmith to lead going on that back straight. Chris Watts now moves through up in the second place. With Alex Evan now goes through the third, as uh, Ben Smith again using every inch of the track coming out of that pits corner, leads on the last lap then, and Chris Watts in second place. Alex Evan has got the third, Ben Heisley is in fourth. Joe Latsford is in five, that's a five, there's a race leader, Ben Penn Smith, then the back straight for the final time, Chris Watts trying to close the gap in second place, he's too well clear of Alex Evans in third, as Ben Penn Smith is going to get the winning ride, or will Chris Watts catch him on the all into line? No, Ben Penn Smith gets the winning ride, Chris Watts gets the second, Alex Evans is in third, fourth place goes to Ben Isley, fifth place is number 24, Joe Latchford. Race 22, Senior B, second leg, a win for number 37, Ben Fenn Smith. Second number 12, Chris Watts. And third, 179, Alex Evans. 54 and 24. 1 minute 31.51. 1 minute 31.51. 35.76 miles per hour, 23, third leg of the Auto Cadets, just putting a few markers back in before we let them go for race number 23. Where are we going with race number 23? And it's Robert Lambert making a cracking start. Number 6, Danny Hill is a rider that goes with him. Ashton Webb has made the best of starts, but he's gone through in the third place, looking at that second place, but someone's gone round the edge of everybody to move through in that second place, Vision Kawabi, Max Corn has gone round the outside, Ashton Webb now slips through into the third place, but that's led the race leader, Robert Lambert, to build a big lead on the opening lap of race number 23, it's Lambert who leads them from Webb in second place. It is number 81, Max Corn has gone through in the third with Sam Padgett, in fourth place, Danny Hill drops back to five, that's the top five, as laid down the back straight once again then, and still Robert Lambert, quick look behind him, tells him he's got Ashton Webb there, in the second place position, number ten, Ronnie Kinchin on a little tiny machine, they just crossed the line to complete his first lap, as the race leader Robert Lambert moves on to start the last lap this time then, from uh, Ashton Webb in second, oh! Corms a speed wobble there for number 81, Max Corms. Let's hope he's going to be okay. Got quite a speed wobble coming out of that bottom corner. Quickly up on his feet, but obviously out of the action for race number 23. As a race leader going down the back straight for the final time, that's number five, Robert Lambert. It's uh, good to see Max Corms is okay. A terrific speed wobble coming out of that bottom corner. But number five, Robert Lambert it is that picks up the winning ride in race number 23 for Aston Webb. Getting the second place position. Sam Patchett's now gone through into third. They got number 10, Ronnie Kinchin, just crossed the line. Of course, he's a lap down, so the fourth place rider should be number six. That's Danny Hill. With number 10, Ronnie Kinchin in fifth place. Race 23 result to win for number five, Robert Lambert. Second, 112, Ashton Webb. And third, number 19, Sam Patchett. Six and number ten. One minute twenty four point oh six. One minute twenty four point oh six. Twenty nine point two oh miles per hour. Twenty nine point two oh miles per hour. Good to see that Max Corms is okay walking back across the track bike being pushed across. The main thing that uh, Max is okay. We move on to race twenty four then. Second heat to the third leg of the Auto Cadets. Number nine, Callum Ray will be a non-starter for race 24. Away they go then. And number seven, Nathan Greaves making a good start with number three, 
Jules Ransley in second place. Kenny Bowdry also in the thick of the action back in third place, looking to get through into second place, which he does. But he's allowed uh, number seven, Nathan Greaves, to build a big lead in the front. Kenny Bowdry still there in second place. As they go into that pits corner for the first time. Nathan Greaves the advantage there from Kenny Bowdry in second place. They complete the opening lap. It's number three. George Ransley in third with number eight Aaron Cawthray in four. That's a top four as they go to the back straight once again. Number 11 Jordan Carter is in five with number two Max Brown in sixth place. That's the six wilder zone. It's Nathan Greaves leads into the pitch corner with Kenny Bowdy trying to close the gap there in second place. The last lap flag out then for number seven Nathan Greaves clear of Kenny Bowdy in second place. Good scrap with number third in four. It's still uh, George Ramsey hanging on to that third. With Alan Corfrey trying to close the gap in four, the leader down the back straight for the final time. That is number seven, Nathan Greaves, well cleared of Kenny Bowdry holding that second place position. Coming out of that final corner, it's going to be a win for number seven, Nathan Greaves. Second place goes to number 33, Kenny Bowdry. It's going to be tight for third and fourth. With number three, George Ramsey getting the third ahead of number eight, Aaron Corfrey in fourth. Max Brown will be in fifth. 